Hello everybody, welcome back to Lily Lulu. My name's Karen, if you haven't been here before, welcome. And if you're a returning visitor, welcome back. Thank you for joining me today. So the post just came and I've got some nice things. So I thought I would um, jump on and show you what I've got. Now I've opened the envelopes, but I haven't got any, gone any further than that because I realized what they were. And as I say, I thought I would share all the yumminess with you. I'd actually just been um, to the post office to post my tags that I made for the swap. And I have videoed um, making each of those tags and they will be going up on my channel, but not until the lady I'm swapping with has received them so that she gets to see them first. And my swap is in this envelope, so I thought I'd come on and show you what she has sent me. And while I was out, I also went to the charity shop. <laughs> so I thought I'd show you what I grabbed while I was there. Just going to have a slurp of tea. I need my tea today. So this is um, my swap. Oh wow, look at that fabric, isn't that lovely? She's wrapped it up in fabric. Oh, that's beautiful, what a lovely colour. I don't know if this is being picked up on camera, but it's um, like a gold with a brown and an olive green stripe in it. It's lovely, I think it's, um, it looks like a, a sample. Oh, it's silk, 100% silk, wow. And look at this beautiful little package. Oh, she's put them all in separate. Look, look, all in separate cellophane bags. <gasps> and a little paper clip. A little covered paper clip. And all little bits. Oh, wow. That's so lovely. This is a little miniature envelope. And there's a little note to Karen. Enjoy your swap, love from Lynette. Isn't that lovely? Um, it never ceases to amaze me how well um, people pack things in the junk journal world. I'm useless. I'm sure mine are not as impressive. It's, look at this tag. This must be um, October because it's orange. And yes, look, she's put it on the back. And look at the little Buzzy Bee stamp. And you know, if you've been watching me for some time, my um, nickname was Queen Bee when I was younger. So I have quite a lot of bee. Oh, I don't want to tear it. I have quite a lot of bee themed things going on. Um, I don't want to tear this lovely little sticker. I know that's silly. I'm gonna cut the bottom. And try not to cut the tag. I just want to have a closer look at the tag. Ooh. Oh, look at that lovely paper. It feels gorgeous. I wonder if Lynette embossed that herself or if it was already done. And look, all little pockets. Oh, that's so cute. Isn't that lovely? Look at this tiny diddy little envelope with secret journaling space. Oh, I like that because I, I do that in a lot of my journals. So that is so cute. Go on, tuck in. I don't normally make them that small though. <laughs> Very clever. Nice and plain on the back for journaling. So, and if you remember, these are all going to go in this end of year journal. So this one must be November because that's firework night, isn't it? Look at that, all the gold sparkles and all the different colors in the background. Yeah, November. That's beautiful. I don't need to open that one because I can see what it is. Oh, look how cute that is. 
Oh, that is so cute. Oh, Lynette, if you happen to watch this, I absolutely love what you've made. That is gorgeous. I'm a sucker for Christmas, so anything Christmassy, you've got me. <laughs> oh, that is so sweet. Lovely um, wooden sentiment on there. That's gorgeous. I love it. Thank you so much, Lynette. And I love, I love this. Look, this has got sparkles on which is appropriate for my surname as well. So cute. And I love this fabric. It's absolutely beautiful. Gorgeous. Thank you so much. I'm absolutely thrilled with those. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And then this, it's, it's a, a purple poppy themed day today because that swap was from Purple Poppy's Facebook group. And this is a little purchase I made from Purple Poppy Paper Crafts eBay, uh, Etsy shop eBay. So this is um, a journal pack of 62 pieces of die cuts, vintage papers and ephemera. And this is um, 32 interesting papers. So look at that. That's beautiful. That's This is a um, card. And then all of these bits have been collaged. And this is obviously stamped. These bits have all been collaged onto the card. And this is stamping. Isn't it gorgeous? And then we have a um, page from a Scottish law directory. Now, if you have known me for any length of time in the real world, I'm a genealogist as well. It's another hobby of mine. Um, and so I have always loved um, old directories and, you know, all the old bits of pe bits and pieces of papers and books that document people's lives in the past so these papers are right up my street i used to spend hours when my girls were training in musical theater they trained um in southwark and that's where my mum's side of the family came from and i spent hours in the southwark um family history society library pouring over books and things that had nothing to do with my family. I was just really interested in looking at all these different things. So this, um, I'm not sure if it's Scottish. This is legal firms and Burr officials. I don't know if it's from the same book. Um, it's different colour, but these are both from 1969, as is this. Yeah, they are from the same book, it says at the top, Scottish Law Directory. Wow, they're beautiful. Oh, look at that handwriting. I've missed a page, look. Oh, that's lovely. That's from, um, you know, some sort of address book. Look at this writing. It's so beautiful. This has got... February the 11th 1909 at the top I'm trying to lift this to show you the beautiful handwriting I can't read it but it's beautiful <laughs> I love old handwriting oh wow these are absolutely fabulous and this isn't um a paid promotion or anything I I have genuinely bought these from Claire's shop so oh that is so lovely and then we've got the County Courts Department of the Treasury. This is from Whitehall. Office hours, 11 till five, part-timers. <laughs> oh, wow. This feels so beautiful. The perfected system of life assurance. 
and obviously if you know me as well from a previous life my original career was in financial services so <laughs> it's very boring but um yeah that, that is sort of relevant <laughs> and then this um looks like an advertisement We show you, no, we show a beautiful array of muslin underwear on the following pages from which you can add and make complete selections for your supplier of under muslins. <laughs> wow. Different ways, corset covers. Handsome embroidery corset cover, 98 cents. Wonderful values in young men's long pants. <laughs> oh, these are lovely. You could just sit and read these adverts, couldn't you, for hours? Well, I could anyway. Our great assortment of little fellows washable suits. Teddy bears. Dolls heads. Oh, this is the Sears Roebuck, um, Roebuck, uh, I can't get my words out. Sears Roebuck catalogue that um, Claire has mentioned in her videos. Wow. And then we've got some, this is a, a cash book page. Money wanted. <laughs> yes, please. And this is um, a ledger page that has been, it's got entries, railway charges. I wonder if, it, if that is from railway, a railway book. It looks like it because it's got stations here. Hmm, interesting. My dad's family were railwaymen. This is lovely paper. This is from 1982. It's a list of yarns. So it's somebody's accounts book who obviously owned a yarn shop. Loan repayment tables. Wow brings back memories. Oh, music. It's got a teacher's notes on there as well, handwritten notes. I hope I'm not taking too time flicking, too long flicking through these. I hope you're enjoying seeing all these beautiful things what to wear a chit chat on dress gardening in october this is the month of fruit gathering remember to handle ripening apples and pears as isaac wharton did the frogs as if you love them <laughs> oh a visit of condolence it's rather apt at the moment as we've just lost our queen The social duty of a woman, a visit of sympathy. Right. <laughs> These are absolutely beautiful. I love them, Claire. Thank you. Thank you for putting them together. Home chat, household hints. 40 drops are equal to one, ta two, one teaspoonful. Four teaspoonfuls are equal to one tablespoonful. Well, that's interesting because now three teaspoonfuls are equal to one tablespoonful. So I wonder if our measurements have changed or if it's in um, if this is American and their measurements are different. Because one teaspoon now is 15 mil 
and a tablespoon is 30, no, 15 mil, isn't it? A tablespoon. So that's three teaspoons. Mm, interesting sort of thing I have to Google, find out. These pages are from March 1898. Can you believe that? Oh no, next week we shall insert a special article, The Pros and Cons of Matrimony by the Reverend E.J. Hardy, author of that very popular book, How to Be Happy Through Though Married. <laughs> oh, I love it. Love it. Oh, that's hilarious. And look at this beautiful um, baking paper been stained and lovely this is handmade paper it does say in the front what's in here yeah vintage mulberry and handmade aren't they beautiful papers oh this must be handmade look at that i wouldn't even know where to start hand making paper absolutely beautiful now i probably shouldn't go through this should i because <laughs> i'm being so slow but this looks really interesting as well i want to have a look Whee. oh look all these tea cards I wonder if these would fill up any of the gaps in my books. I've got um, a collection of books of almost filled tea cards. British costume, I love that. I love, it's very 1920s, isn't it? I love it. And a little, is that a, a scrabble piece, but not a plastic one, a card one. Peak green biscuits. Oh, look at those beautiful ladies. Don't they look elegant? Cinema ticket. And a ticket shape cut out of collage papers oh look the Beatles presented at John F Kennedy Stadium Philadelphia right sorry about that I got interrupted there because I got a phone call so I didn't I, I did realize straight away and I carried on but I don't know um where it stopped as in I don't know what I was saying so I apologize if this doesn't make any sense when you're watching it back but I didn't um go through any more of these bits and pieces so I think we were on the Beatles when the phone rang so we've got a um, chipboard letter N another shaped piece of card another T card with a lovely butterfly on and we have a sticker with the leaf another sticker and that's got a rose on and it says at the bottom to infinity and beyond every day is a new day nice clear sticker got a letter b we've got some of those i think this is a tim holtz die isn't it with all the little slots in so we've got a few of those and different two of those in different designs and some more ticket shapes and that's a puzzle piece well a fake puzzle piece faux puzzle piece <laughs> little heart number seven lucky for some now i think these yes these are little file tabs got a couple of those this is brilliant because I haven't got any dies anymore so number nine. Oh, look at that cameo beautiful 
this is really fun. <laughs> really perforated ticket. Britain, island in the Atlantic Ocean off the northwestern coast of Europe, including England, Scotland and Wales. Dictionary definition. Heart. Little tag. Some more of the little puzzle pieces. And we have a number five. Another number five. ABC. I hope you can see these all right. Oh, look, a K. And an X. That's like a um, like a Polaroid shape. Oops, it goes that way. Some very interesting little bits and pieces here, and some of them are very tiny. Little stamps. I'm just whizzing through these a bit because I I know I spent so long looking at the papers. That's the um, film strip die. Okay. Well, if that X had been a Y. Could have spelt K, which is what my family call me. That's a plain one. Oh, this is, um, you can make your specimen cards with this. So it folds in half like that. That's cool. Another one of those. Another sticker clear sticker. Another dictionary definition. Whoops. It's packed full of bits and pieces. Nicaraguan stamp. <laughs> Faux stamp. And one from Guernsey. And a butterfly. Oh, that's lovely, isn't it? Our king and queen. And there's... The princesses Elizabeth and Margaret with their parents. That their parents think it is. Oh look, more of that lovely paper with the writing. Fabulous. Love it. And some more of the legal book. more papers. Oh this is lovely. This is um, like a little greetings card. It's all embossed. Beautiful. Oh and look at that. Isn't that fabulous? Wow a proper postcard. Christmas 1978. Wow. And some sheet music. Gorgeous. I love it all. Right. Is it going to be a pain if I show you what I got in the charity shop as well? I'm not going to try and put them all back in on camera. I'll show you very quickly what I got. I found, I won't show you everything I got, I'll just show you the crafty things. I got this dress, which was reduced to a pound. Now, a lot of it is very tatty and un unusable, but I think there'll be plenty of bits of lace on there that I'm able to use. And I did Aminar because I thought, oh, that's not the sort of colour I would usually use. And then I thought, it's a pound, Karen, and look how much of it there is. And I know I've got some um, sari silk that's a similar colour. So I got that for a pound, which is rather good, I thought. 
Um, and then I saw this fabric and I thought, I hope you can see that because the sun's just come out. Shall I pull the blind? Sorry, I know I'm leaning into the camera frame. Just going to see if that makes any difference. A little bit. I thought this reminded me a little bit of Edith Holden. So I grabbed it. Two pound. And there's loads of it. Could probably make a quilt cover with that. There's so much of it. So that's rather nice. I thought that would be good for journal covers. I did get some bargains today. The last few times I've been in there, there hasn't been very much. But today, I think I scored. And this was... Oh, look at this. This was in the... Um, reduced section as you go in they have a um, bookshelf with all the books on that they're getting rid of and this was a pound and look at the pictures in here they're absolutely fabulous aren't I lucky Ooh. my great auntie worked in Lyons tea rooms look at that oh they're just fabulous pictures I keep saying fabulous don't I that's my word <laughs> I love it there's so much in here that I'm going to be able to use. Just gorgeous, gorgeous pictures. Look at that. Just amazing. Nelson. What a good name for a pub. <laughs> and that's May Day. And my daughter was May Queen many years ago. <laughs> my eldest daughter. And my Yeah, it was May Queen, not Princess. I was just trying to think if it was if she was the May Queen or the May Princess, but she was the May Queen. That just that just reminds me of my nan. That image. Absolutely brilliant. For a pound, I think I'm a very lucky girl. So that's what I got today. What a lovely day. What a lovely day post full of lovely goodies and lovely charity shop bargains so I hope you've enjoyed having a look at what I've got there and um oh wow look at that gorgeous right I think I better go otherwise I'm going to be here all day wittering on about gorgeousness and fabulousness <laughs> So thank you for joining me today. I hope you've enjoyed looking um, at all those lovely things and I will be back again in another couple of days. Take care, enjoy your crafting time. Bye bye.